Well, starting with the factory core, for the first thing, you have all your stock locations for your accessory drive, uh, all your motor mount locations as a direct drop-in. And then also there is a class restriction in a lot of the categories of people racing that requires that they use a factory block and we can match that. Okay, on the longer sleeve is works well with the stroker motors. When we start going for big displacement, you start creating piston rock at bottom dead center with the factory block where the cylinders are only maybe 5.5 to 5.6 long. We can increase that to 5.8 inch where it protrudes down into the cylinder block giving you a lot more support at the bottom. You will see a lot better longevity and as well as you in the stroker motors, you don't have the oil consumption that you see when they try to use a stock block because of the piston rod. It's all done CNC on our equipment. We actually do all the sleeve machining from blanks of our own uh, and everything goes through our inspection process in-house. We have what we call a dry sleeve which basically makes it look like a, an LS7 block where you still retain all the factory structure and we replace it with a duct iron sleeve which has the longer length as well as a thicker wall thickness for allowing the ability for a bigger bore and you gain the strength of the wall, thicker wall and the material is approximately three to four times stronger than the factory cast sleeve. We also offer the super deck which is where we go in and we machine out a large portion of the upper structure and we add a truss design that we have a patent on that ties the cylinder block between the cylinders at the Siamese portion so that any of the torque that's applied to the block is from motor mounts or the torque, internal torque of the motor, it actually stiffens the block and then makes all that stress pass between the cylinders rather than right into the cylinder bore like a factory attachment point. One of the advantages with this truss design is we're able to direct the water flow right up into the Siamese portion of the cylinder, whereas normally on a factory block, that being a high point, all your steam and boil off will collect in that area, so they have steam ports basically drilled into the block and into the cylinder head. And with our design, we force the water flow into the Siamese portion to make a more even cooling system. Okay, on the main caps on our super deck box, uh, and it's an option on the dry sleeve also, we do use a dowel billet main cap that we manufacture the main caps in-house. So they start from a raw bar stock and we go in and put solid dowels, which stops a lot of your cap movement and kind of restricts that, that you see on a normal factory box. One of the nice things that we offer the customers is we offer them a finished product. If you buy just the block from us, we will take your pistons and hone to individual pistons. We mic them, set the clearance for your application. Uh, we do cam bearing installation. Uh, we do all the line bore, a line hone, finished cylinder hone. So basically it's ready to go when you get it. You can clean it up and assemble it. Then on our short block builds, we of course do all the same process. And when we supply it to you, you get the full build sheet, tells you clearances, what parts are in it for future reference as well as all your balance sheet. They all come with uh, ARP main studs and on our super deck block, we actually will supply the head studs when you do the half inch option. So you've already got the head studs ready to go, step dowels ready to bolt the heads on. On our block, we have uh, several options. One of them is for bushing the lifter boards. Uh, do bronze bushings for either hydraulic or solid lifters. Uh, that is an option. Then another one we offer is where we pin the cam bearings in on this sleeve type bearing to keep them from walking for particularly road race applications. Uh, we can, for some of the boosted cars, we can do a force thrust oiling. We can drill some oil ports to force oil onto that. As most know, uh, when they're building boost on the starting line, it's pretty rough on the thrust bearings. Another option that we do on our high-end cars, where the guys are making some extreme power in the 1500 plus horsepower range, we do O-ringing on a box uh, in that case where people send in their cylinder heads and we will cut the receiver groove install the ring in the cylinder head and supply them with a head gasket which is already preformed to fit. So that is another option but in the, kind of the extreme power cases. We can go from a short block anywhere from the 
a bare cylinder block machine ready to go to a short block that can, we can build for your application to a long block, which uh, we can have several options on cylinder heads and can work with you on setting up for whatever you're doing. When we bring the block in, we have a complete spec sheet on it. We do all the miking, all the journals. Uh, this is all going on the build sheet. Then we take and clean the block. We've got a sonic cleaner for the crank, all the components. So not only do you get the part sourcer, but they get a sonic clean. We file fit rings, mic and check all your bearings and document all that. Uh, crank, the rotating assembly gets a full balancing, which you'll include the in the sheet. Um, then file fit the rings, do a complete assembly after everything is clean and we wrap it, WD-40 it and put it in a bag so it crate it and ship it to you. Pretty much it comes ready to go. You unseal the bag and start boating parts on it. So all your uh, plugs and uh, galley plugs are already installed ready to go. We can do anywhere from the bare block up to a long block ready to go and work with you on components of your choice in most cases and uh, can actually recommend for what you're trying to do.